uh, from Quinton. Guys, I think they need to use Derek Barnes to spy Kyler Murray and force him to beat them with his arm as much as possible. I mean, look, eh, the thing about Kyler Murray is he's been really good at the scripted offense this year. The here's the play call. That's the defense. Here's where I should go with the football, hit the back step of my drop and deliver an accurate throw to the proper person. And that's the thing that might have have allowed him to take the next step. He's got to do it over the course of a season, of course. But early on here, they are pleased with Kyler Murray's ability to move the football through the air as the offense is designed. And, oh, by the way, he is still an absolute artiste when it comes to scrambling and making things up. Yeah, I don't know if they implement a, a spy but if you were to do some something like that, I think Brian Branch is the guy you want. Because I don't know if Barnes can. Well, I don't even know if Brian Branch could do it. I think Spy's been brought up so many times before with running quarterbacks, right? And I think all defensive coordinators go, yeah, we have a spy. But you know how hard it is to tackle right. a guy by yourself? Like exactly. a guy like that, yeah. Kyler Murray or Lamar Jackson, whoever's mobile. Because I know you asked the question, Doug, who do you want to feature? My eyes... I, mean, I don't want to feature Kyler Murray, but that's where my eyes are. If they can contain Kyler Murray, and I'm telling myself this because right. there's going to be times in this game where he's going to get away from a sack. He just is. And that's like the most frustrating thing for me as a fan to watch is you have a guy dead to rights, he gets away, and then he makes a play. Like, but just, that's Just keep in the pocket. Yeah. It's easier <laughs> like said it's than that done. easy to do. Right? Yeah, and one of those passes, I know he's been hitting the back foot and, and hitting his targets, Doug, but one of the touchdowns he threw last week was he got away from like three sacks, potential sacks, went to his left, threw basically a walkaway touchdown pass in the back of the end zone. And that was a broken play. Marvin Harrison Jr. said this week, goes, I got to keep running my routes because I know Kyler, he didn't go down easy. Yeah, that, that was the touchdown to uh, Higgins, the tight end, right? The one that he broke all the tackles. And yes, I mean, that's a big part of what they need to do. The play is not dead, you know, and that's Marvin Harrison. When you're in the scramble drill, when you're deep, come back, when you're shallow, go deep. Like, that's that's something that you have to be able to do with, with Kyler Murray. Next text from Adam at work. As long as the defense doesn't take a step back, I'm confident the D-line will get home. And the offense cleans up the red zone issue. Lions by 10. Go Lions. 